So I got myself a Tascam Porta Studio 424 Mark III and um, I'm going to record a song with it. I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. I messed with it yesterday, did a bunch of stuff wrong, but I think I figured it out mostly. I'm going to start out with rhythm with the two guitars. I'm going to do like the main rhythm and then kind of like the melody, and then I'm going to do bass, and then I'm going to do vocals. I'm just going to do four tracks. Um, I'm going to do effects for some of the things. So for the rhythm guitar, in an effects loop on the unit, I've got, um, I'm going into a compressor to kind of smooth out the transients going into the reverb and then I've got uh, Tech 21 Boost RVB and that's going back into the task cam on channel 5 and I'm recording that all the way wet and blending it in with the fader and recording both the guitar and the reverb to track 1. So I'm committing to the reverb sound of this guitar right up front with the vocals and the um, other guitar I know from messing with it yesterday I want to be able to make it wetter as the uh, track kind of fades out. So I'm actually going to do the ambience effects for the vocals and the lead guitar in the mix down. So on the four track tape, they won't be there, but when I mix it down to my computer for the, you know, for the final bounce, they will. And so one of the things I'm going to take video of is actually like top down of the, of the mixer. So you can see kind of what all is going on with that. So the song's called Spybird. I wrote it a long time ago. Um, happens to be one of the only songs that I can just remember off the top of my head right now. Alright, so that was guitar one. I'm going to hit return to zero here. Switch track one over to tape. Switch the bus over to the right side bus for track two. Switch track one to safe, switch track two to arm, hopefully do most of this right. Turn off the effects sense, turn off these guys down here. Um, okay. I figured it out. I uh, forgot how the tape cue knob works. Like I said, I got this yesterday. So basically what can happen, if you set this guy up wrong, you'll end up just recording the last thing you played on the next track underneath whatever you record, which is usually not what you want to do, although I'm sure sometimes it might be. Lead guitar time. I fucked that up a lot, so I'm just gonna do that again. So, did a little experimenting and you know, compared a couple of bases and looked at some pedals and stuff. And what I ended up doing is borrowing my girlfriend's short scale bass, which is a sweet Squire Mustang, um, and just plugging straight in, doing a little EQ on the deck there. Kind of checked everything out and ended up deciding to play with a pick, but a softer pick than I usually would play bass with. Fingers were a little too soft. A hard pick was a little too bright, um, and kind of what I ended up doing is very old school, sort of um, short scale bass, soft pick, and lots of muting. It's like what everyone in the '60s used to do, you know, Paul McCartney, Carol Kay, all those, all those folks. Um, you get kind of a nice tubby sound without being inarticulate. The P bass, you kind of get those big like piano lows, which is just not quite the right feel. If you ever need an excuse to have more basses. Remember, Alex Graham told you so. Yeah, so let's cut the bass for this guy. Hopefully that was good. It's vocal time. Uh, for the vocals, I switched over to other mic. It's just kind of a better handheld vocal mic. It has a pop filter. Sennheiser E835. It's decent. Um, and one other thing I'm going to do, kind of inspired by an old George Martin tip, um, which is to get your singer to, like, you know, transpose the, the song up a bit so the singer's really at the top of their range and that kind of sounds good. 
Um, I'm not a very good singer, so the top of my range isn't all that high. But what I've done, instead of transposing the whole song when I play it, as like kind of a fun experiment, I'm actually using the pitch control to raise the pitch of the song by, oh, about a half step, a little bit more. That's going to do two things. One, it's going to make me push harder and kind of work harder to hit the notes. And two, I think that'll kind of give it a neat kind of just feel when you slow it back down because everything else will be where it's supposed to be and then the vocal will actually be slowed down. So you'll kind of have that sound of hitting like strain but without the pitch and you might get like a little washy thing. I don't know, I haven't really messed with it too much. So we're just going to hear how it sounds in a minute here. So yeah, it's vocal time. It's fun to play with the speed. Um, yeah, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> 